Hey guys, welcome to YouTube channel where hedging peso matters. For this discussion, bibigyan daan po natin ng ating segment na pinamagatang Ustisyang Pangmasa. Sa pagkakataong ito, sasagot po tayong maligin ang palibagong katanungan. Nag-resign po ako sa trabaho upang makauwi sa probinsya namin dahil nais ko maalagaan ang aking mga anak at dahil na rin sa takot namin sa COVID. Hindi po ako binigyan ng amo ko ng separation pay. Paano ko po ito mahahabol o meron ba akong karapatan sa separation pay? This query is related to the different causes of termination ng employment. Ang termination of employment natin under the labor code ay may dalawa pong klase. We have the authorized causes and we have the just causes. Now for the just causes, this is at the instance of the employee. And the authorized causes on the other hand is at the instance of the employer. So ang naging kadahilanan kung bakit natanggal ang isang empleyado sa trabaho ay dahil sa employer niya. At nire-recognize po ng labor code na magkaroon ng separation pay in cases of authorized causes. Ang authorized causes ay ang mga sumusunod, installation of labor saving devices, redundancy, retrenchment to prevent losses, and closing or cessation of operation of establishment. Ano ba ang separation pay? Separation pay is a relief granted in instances where the common denominator is the fact that the employee was dismissed by the employer. Sa madaling salita po, tinanggal po ang isang empleyado ng kanyang employer. And that is the reason why the employee is entitled to a separation pay. May isa pa pong kaso kung saan specifically ang ibang mga causes na pwedeng magkaroon ng separation pay. So nabanggit na natin kanina yung Installation of labor-saving devices, redundancy, retrenchment, closing or cessation of business operations, disease of an employee and his continued employment is prejudicial to himself or his co-employees, an employee was illegally dismissed and reinstatement is no longer feasible. So itong number 6, so meron po tayong separation pay in lieu of reinstatement dahil hindi na po siya pwede may reinstate without loss of seniority rights dahil strained relations na then separation pay in lieu of reinstatement alright iduugat lamang po muna natin kung ano po ang mga instances kung kailan merong separation pay ito po dito naman sa kasa ni Del Rio versus DPO Philippines Incorporated sabi ng Supreme Court an employee who voluntarily resigns from employment is not entitled to separation pay hindi po entitled sa separation pay ang isang tao o isang employee na nag-resign, voluntaryong nag-resign. Hindi pinag-resign, voluntaryong nag-resign po. Except if there is a collective bargaining agreement or yung CBA na tinatawag or merong nakalagay sa kontrata na kayo po ay makakatanggap ng separation pay. Since sa inyo pong katanungan, wala po kayong nabanggit na merong ganitong provision o merong ganitong nakalagay nakasaad sa inyong kontrata or meron kayong CBA na nagsasabi na kung kayo ay umalis at voluntary kayo nag-resign ay makakatanggap kayo ng separation pay. Dahil po sa absence nito, wala po kayong separation pay. If you find this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up and please like, comment, and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And as always, thank you.